Well, good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, February the 23rd, and time for another morning check-in from E Free Church. Now, we've been looking at the character of the Bible over the last couple of weeks. We've seen that the Bible is unique, it's inspired, it's profitable, it's sufficient, it's trustworthy, and now we're looking at the fact that it must be the final authority for our life. And so uh, yesterday we saw that the Bible must be the final authority even over human reason. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Now let me give you another one today that the Bible must be supreme over. The Bible must have more authority in our lives than even the church. Now, I don't know what church you go to. Even if you go to E Free Church, you're going to a church that has issues. Every church does. We see that in the New Testament. In Revelation chapter 2, Jesus is writing to churches. And here's what he says to these churches. In verse number 4, he says to one church, I have this against you. They were doing something wrong. In verse number 14, he says to another church, I have a few things against you. They were doing several things wrong. And then to another church, in verse 20, he says, I have this against you. Churches make mistakes. Churches have issues. And that means this. If there comes a time in my life that my church is teaching something different than the Bible is teaching, I must always choose the Bible. Because the Bible is infallible. The church isn't. The Bible is perfect. The church isn't. And so I need to make sure that everything my church is teaching me is consistent with the pages of Scripture. Now, I hope you attend a church that teaches and preaches the Bible, that believes the Bible, that practices the Bible. But no matter what church you go to, the Bible must always be your supreme authority for life and doctrine. Well, I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page. Let me pray for you right now. Father, I thank you for the Bible. And I pray that you would allow us to always make the Bible our supreme authority. Even if the Bible differs from the church, may we always side with your inspired word. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we'll look at another one tomorrow. So I hope you have a great Tuesday. And I hope you'll be back with us again tomorrow for another morning check-in.